Shalom, this is your arc. Y'all is magnified. Coming back with another informative video. I titled this video, A Small Victory. So with that being said, let's get to it. So as you all can see on the screen, this is a uh, an order of denial for a motion that um, one of my donators, child's mom, filed a motion against him. Uh, basically trying to have him arrested and also trying to have him pay more money. And to get him to stop paying money because he haven't paid any money, you know. But to go over his story, basically, you know, he had got somebody else's services on YouTube. You know, it didn't work for him. So, he, you know, he ended up on child support. So he came over to me, you know, to try to seek remedy. So in his process of coming over to me, he received the court order to come to court, you know, to explain why he haven't been paying and to... uh basically try to have him arrested for not paying and to make him pay more money. So they wanted to go up on his support and everything else, or should I say on the support order and everything else. But, you know, we, we stopped that by use of jurisdiction. Like I, like I tell you all, you know, the best, rem the best way to seek remedy is to challenge the jurisdiction. You know, I can't express that enough. But let's uh, read over this motion so we can get understanding of what happened. Uh, as you guys can see, you know, has the judge name. It says, President Elizabeth Shamas, support magistrate in the matter of a support proceeding, right? And it's coming out of New York. So for everybody in New York, you know, a slight remedy for you all. Like I stated, you know, continue to challenge jurisdiction. It say, uh, order on motion. I crossed out the, uh, the, the defendant name and uh, I just only left the plaintiff last name so it can make sense when you all reading the uh, paperwork. But it says, uh, I crossed out the file number, the docket number, and the case number because I try to keep people's information private. Okay, so it says, a motion having been filed with this court on February the 16, 2018, requesting an order on A or an FCA 216C. We're going to go over that code. That's for the uh, Family Court Act for New York. So it's FCA 216C. And a support magistrate of this court upon examining the motion papers and supporting affidavits and the following having appearance and that's the child's mom last name so we're going to say Miss Thompson and that's and that's the uh the, the the respondent which was the uh which was my uh person who donated for me you know I was, that's the one I was helping out the guy I was helping out and it says finds that the motion is denied and it is therefore ordered that the motion of Miss Thompson is denied. Then it says specific written objection to this order may be filed with this court within 30 days of the date the order was received in court or by personal service or if the order was received by mail within 35 days of the mailing of the order with the judge's signature on it with the stamp, you know, and everything else. But this was on June 5th. So it happened this month, you know, like I stated, man, I have more testimonies coming. You know, more strong videos, more evidence coming. But now we're going to go over the FCA 216C. So, again, I'm showing you all that, you know, what the, the proper way of doing things and the best way to seek remedy is to challenge jurisdiction. Okay? So now let's go to the FCA 216C of the, uh, the, family, uh, the family court act. So let's go there. Okay, so as you all can see, we're coming from codes.finelaw.com. So let's pick this up at the top. It says New York Consolidated Laws, Family Court Act, FCT, subsection 216C, preparation of petition. Let's pick this up at A. A, whenever a petitioner is not represented by counsel, any person who assists in the preparation of a petition shall include all allegations presented by the petitioner. B. No clerk of the court or probation officer may prevent any person who wishes to file a petition from having such petition filed with the court immediately. 
C. If there is a question regarding whether or not the family court has jurisdiction of the matter, the petition should be prepared and the clerk shall file the petition and refer the petition to the court for determination of all issues including the jurisdictional questions. D. This section shall not be applicable to juvenile delinquency proceedings. So again, the main one we want to focus on is C. So let's go back over C again. It states, if there is a question regarding whether or not the family court has jurisdiction of the matter, the petition shall be prepared and the clerk shall file the petition and refer the petition to the court for determination of all issues, including the, jur including the, jur the, um, excuse me, including the jurisdictional questions. So now, when his child's mom filed the motion, you know, we challenge jurisdiction as always. Like I tell you all, when you go to these courts, challenge jurisdiction. We challenge jurisdiction. The motion had to be denied. Why? For lack of jurisdiction. Okay? Lack of subject matter jurisdiction and lack of uh, uh, personum jurisdiction for both. Okay? So when you go to these courts, start challenging jurisdiction. You know, um, so... They had denied the motion, so now we're working on uh, getting him free from this whole matter completely. So we're very close with his situation. You know, his situation is almost done. So we're just, uh, we're going to keep it moving. You know, I'll bring more testimonies, more paperwork, you know, more evidence, more, more proof, more facts, more truth, you know, to show you all that, hey, there's remedy out there. You got to want to go and get it, though. It's not going to fall in your lap. You have to want to fight for this remedy. You know, it's not a, like I tell everyone, it's not an easy fight, but it's a fight worth fighting, you know, especially when you win. Okay? It'll be worth it in the long run. So with that being said, if you all need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. Um, like and subscribe. Share my videos. You know, like I stated before, I have more proof coming. And for all my subscribers who haven't pressed that bell in the corner to get notifications, press that bell so when I post more videos up with powerful information, you know, you all to get the get the bell and the alert to watch, you know, for we can all get more understanding of what's going on. So with that being said, you all be blessed. Again, if you need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. You know, let's get that ball rolling. So you all be blessed again. Shalom.